Howdy everyone, today we're going to be comparing the Skullcandy Sesh Evos to the Google Pixel A series wireless earbuds. Unboxing the Sesh Evos, we've got two earbuds, a wireless charging case, a USB-C cord, and three sets of tips. We've got a magnetic lid on the top, it opens to reveal the two earbuds, everything inside is nicely molded. Um, they are also magnetically held in place, like that, just drop right in there. Um, individually. They uh, do have mechanical buttons on them, you can see that, to do things like answer calls and play and pause music and change the volume. Uh, also on the front here, this little button will give you a battery level when it auto turns off. Unboxing the Pixel Buds, we've got a slick looking little charging case with the earbuds inside, an extra long USB-C cable, and a box with some extra tips that brings the total number of pairs to three. Build quality here is actually really nice, very Apple-esque. It has a very snappy, magnetically coupled lid, and the earbuds themselves are magnetically held in place. They are uh, touch control for things like answering calls and changing the volume. To pair, we have a button right on the back. Pairing the Sesh Evos is pretty much as easy as opening the case and removing them. After about 50 jump ropes, I'd say they... Eh, pretty much fast the fallout test, but just barely. I'd rate sound quality at a 6 out of 10 with relatively dull highs and not much punch in the bass department. Pairing the Pixel Buds was simply a matter of opening the case. Note here I'm using an iPhone which unfortunately limits me to a simple connection with none of the advanced adjustment features available on Androids. After about 50 jump ropes, the Pixel Buds Pass the flying colors. My fallout and fit test. These things really lock in your ears. Sound quality was a mixed bag. I was never able to get them to seal very well. As a result, sound quality was a subpar 6.5 out of 10. Though I would imagine that someone with a different ear shape might get better results. The Sesh Evo charges via USB-C with LEDs on the front to indicate status, and it does not support wireless charging. Charging the Pixels is done via USB-C with a single LED indicator on front. This model does not support wireless charging. So this one's a bit of an odd call. For me, being an iPhone user with no app support on the Pixels and who was unable to get a good tight fit, I'd buy the Skullcandy Sesh Evos simply on account of their lower price. Though that math totally changes for Android users with different shaped ears. But from my point of view, the Skull Candies do everything the Pixels do, but with an overall lower build quality and a much lower price point.